You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the number one station for independent artists. Running out of gas, running out of cell phone battery, or running out of money. Oh, okay. They, they, they do that, yes. Yeah. So, so which one? Running out of gas, running out of cell phone battery, or running out of money? Yeah. Oh, running out of gas. If I ran out of gas, I have money and I could pay for the gas. Okay. If I ran out of gas and I had no cell phone, I couldn't call for help to pick you me couldn't. up. You couldn't. No, you couldn't. If I had no money, um, I couldn't do either or unless I had my insurance up to date with no money, with my cell phone, I can call them. Yeah, so which one's worse? Oh, that's a tough one, I would say. I would say running out of, uh, it just depends on the situation. I would say running out of gas. I would definitely say running out of gas. I mean, that's a hassle. That's like a that's like a two to three hour situation, depending. Yeah. Well, okay. If, well, there has been a time where I locked my keys and my cell phone in my car. Okay. Right. And so I didn't have access to my phone or gas or money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All three. Okay. <laughs> right. So I'm like, great. I'm stuck at this gas station. So you, I, I looked around the gas station right i looked at all the people yeah. coming in and coming out i'm like all right which guy right here looks most like my dad <laughs> like which guy looks like your daddy which to one, help you yeah yeah wow, like which one of these guys looks like my dad like what kind of like mannerisms does he have like what kind of job like a blue collar worker like i was like oh, all right if I go up to him, I know he's going to help me. That, that's that's kind of cool, though. I know he won't let me, like, just be stranded He won't let you be station. stranded. So you yeah. judge the people by their appearances is what you're saying. Um, Speak on I, it. I, you know what? You, it is probably a little stereotypical, but I mean. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's, it's good in my in my sense. I mean, it, they didn't. Ha- I wasn't looking at, like, you know, any physical characteristics. Okay. I was looking at like what kind of job they had. Like my dad is a plumber. So I was looking around and I go, okay, I see an electrician. He m- probably has some daughters or some family members that he loves. See, I know my dad would never let a young girl be stranded somewhere. This guy's not going to let me be stranded He's somewhere. not going to let you be. Okay, no, and uh, he totally waited until my dad came. Like, well, he was sweet. so nice. That's sweet of him. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I had a situation where I... You ever seen people on the side of the road that need help? Like, give me money, give me food. I'm yeah. Hitchhike. Okay, I think everybody has. Well, you know, I try to be a good Samaritan. I try to give money to people. And I know people say, don't do that or whatnot. And I feel like... If it's uh, in your heart to do it's it. It's in my heart. Like, if I was in a situation, I would help, right? Oh, excuse me. I would want the help. Mm-hmm. So there was just one time that, you know, I was trying to be, is it, I guess, chivalry? I was trying to be happy. Out and happy. What am I talking about? I was trying to help this lady out. Charitable, right? chivalry. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I was trying to help her out. She was an older lady. I was at the gas station and she asked me for a ride. And I'm like, oh, do I want to give you, uh, uh, that's my, co- how'd you get here? How'd you get here? Number one. So I'm thinking, well, how would you get here? And, you know, everything was saying, I do not want to give you a ride. I don't know oh. who you are. She, but she was older, a lot older. You have to trust your instincts. Oh, my gosh. I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to trust my instincts, but I'm getting text messages about this story right now. So anyway, anyway, so I tried to help this lady out. I didn't want to, but I said, okay, what would Jesus do? Jesus would help out, right? That's what I'm thinking, right? Okay. Okay, I know. I feel you. I feel you. I let this lady in the car, and I give her a ride. I'm, hey, where you from? You know, and she's like, you know, probably like uh, two miles away. Where you uh-huh. from? Well, uh-huh. you got family here. She's quiet, really quiet, kind of to herself, arms to herself. You know, I'm a stranger as well. Yeah, right? she's scared. She's maybe. scared. Like, I, did I get a ride with the wrong guy? And I'm, just, I'm trying to just have conversation. So anyway, she she gets out the car. And like she like defecated on my seat, <gasps> and I'm looking at my seat like, what? Who? I was so I, the face you're making. I'm like, I cannot believe that happened. I'm like, I will never ever go out of my way to help anybody else oh. ever. I'm scrubbing that out of my seat. Did it, you say anything to her, like, or did you just? No, like, she walked off, and she walked off, and I, I came and clo- like she's elderly. 
she, she gets out the car. I help her. I close the door. I'm on my way. I look down. What the hell is on? What is that on my seat? I uh, 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 pull over and every sanitizing wipe, everything. I just clean my whole seat. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. that's she probably gonna help herself. Yeah, that's what I'm, you know what it was. This is exactly what it was. I'm thinking, why would she do that? And I'm like, you know what? She used it on herself, and she was doing anything she can to get home. That's what it was. Oh, anything maybe. she can to get home. Oh yeah. Yeah. I need a ride. I need a ride. I, anything you can to get home. Aww. So I, well, you I helped her. I helped her. Right. It was still a tra- traumatic you. story. <laughs> That's very, very traumatic. Oh, my God. It was one of the worst <laughs> situations ever of, like, going out of your way to help somebody. I'm so happy you told me that because... Oh, you got, I, you got a story? No, no, no. I'm just thinking... I recently was thinking, like, man, I wonder I wonder if I would give a ride to somebody who is elderly and they obviously were walking home and they needed help. Like, would I pull over? And I want to, well, uh, but this story scared me. This story is scary. So I, I, I'm not going to say that you have to. It's up to you to do whatever you want to. I, I believe God has a special place for me for going for out doing hell, that. For going out hell. You took one for the team, sir. So, you <laughs> yeah. know. Well, you know what? She she didn't have a cell phone or money or gas, okay? So she did what she had to do. <laughs> she didn't have cell phone money or gas. So. <laughs> she did what she had to do. Hello, black man. Help me, please. <laughs> Uh, okay, ma'am, I'll help you. So anyway, uh, anyway, we're going to get into uh, another song.